Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I keep meaning to put this into the vlogs, but I never get a chance to do it. So I wanted to discuss my story with the cancer diagnosis. Um, so I guess we can just get into it. So back in 2020, I was diagnosed with non-Hodgkin's lymphoma, follicular lymphoma, which is a subtype. Um, they say it's very slow growing. However, my specific type has been more fast than slow. Um, I'll leave some links down below in the description, basically explaining more about it in detail. Um, so yeah, I mean, I just... Back um, when I started, what I experienced was pain, a lot of pain. Um, so they went in and did a lot of scans, stuff like that. And they found my gallbladder was also acting up, so I got my gallbladder removed. Um, so yeah, that's when it all started. Um, sorry. Um, so yeah, I was experiencing a lot of pain. I noticed my symptoms when I was about 12 or 13 years old. However, doctors would never do anything because you wouldn't expect a 12 or 13 year old to have cancer. Um, so I kind of understood that. So I don't blame any of the doctors on that part. Um, so yes, I get to the hospital. You know, they, they find my gallbladder. You know, I had some gallstones developing. Um, so they wanted to go ahead and go in and remove my bladder, or my gallbladder, excuse me. So they did that, and while they were in there, they went ahead and biopsied what they need to biopsy. And about a month later, <laughs> a month, I got the call, and I mean, I, I was very surprised. I will be honest, I was very, very surprised. So the doctor is telling me, you know, what it is, you know, blase, blase. So about maybe a week later, I get a call from the, um, the cancer group that I went to see. They wanted to go ahead and get me in for a consult. So I did all that. And I would say about maybe the next following week, it happened all so quickly, I started chemotherapy. Um, so yeah, this channel is going to be helping those who, that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to help the people that are going through something like this. So maybe just talking about it helps. I mean, it helped me. <laughs> so I started the chemotherapy. I didn't really notice anything different until about, I would say the second week after the first treatment the chemo started hitting me and it hit me hard. I just, I would not eat, I could not eat rather. Um, couldn't drink anything, couldn't, I couldn't even walk around the house. It was, it was that bad. Mm, it, I mean, if I wouldn't have had my family there to help me, I don't think I'd be able to get through it. I really wouldn't. So, I just, I would hate for someone else to go through something like this. I really would. Um, so yeah, back to what I was saying, the doctor that, that I had um, didn't really, I mean, he did all my, you know, chemotherapy. I had about six rounds of chemotherapy um, plus I did not have radiation this time around. Um, I am having radiation now. I am, the cancer did return. I will get to that in a minute. Um, I, mm, the doctor I had did not treat me right after, I would say, Closer to the end of my treatment, I would say about like like my fifth cycle, the doctors started going downhill. Um, they 
started calling me a drug addict. They, the drug addict part, they, I would always go, you know, I would be in and out of the hospital because I would develop infections. My blood count would be low. And the doctors there would say I was addicted to narcotics. I was addicted to IV fluids. I was addicted to IV medications of any type. And, you know, I got mad. I did. Um, and it was, it was terrible. It really was. So beyond that, I, you know, I stood up for myself. I, um, you know, I kind of wanted, you know, I talked to the, you know, patient relations. I talked with, you know, people ahead of, you know, above my doctor and it got me, you know, it got me far. It did. Um, I was able to switch my doctor. I was able to, um, I was able to, you know, finally get into where I need to be. It, it was a tough road. <clears throat> it really was. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, so I would say maybe about two years has gone by since I changed my doctor. Um, two years have gone by since you know, I did a round of chemotherapy. Um, a couple weeks ago, I was re-diagnosed. PET scan came back positive. And the, the doctor uh, told me my current oncologist wanted me to just do radiation and immunotherapy for now, which I'm perfectly fine with. So I started that. I'm going through it every day. Radiation's every day. Um, immunotherapy is once a week. So I'm doing that. Yeah, I haven't really noticed a big difference. I am, you know, less tired, less side effects. Um, so I feel like it's a lot better <laughs> this time around. I really do. Um, if you have any questions for me, you know, if you are new to, you know, if you were just diagnosed, uh, I'd be lovely, you know, I'd love to talk to you. <laughs> um, yeah, so I just feel like I wanted to get on here and just kind of go over my story a little bit. And hopefully it helps anyone in need. I really do. Anyway, um, I'm going to go ahead and end this chat session here. <laughs> uh, leave a like, leave a comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. Talk to you soon.